It was time to reconnect with Achilles, a psychic man from the far past. We wanted to know more about this man, so stay with us and watch Heidi communicate with him. We welcome all of you that are here the first time and invite you to subscribe. But make sure you activate the notification bell and you like our work with your lovely thumbs up. Watch our older video where we connected the first time with him. Let me know when this connection has been established. Yes. What can she perceive or what can you perceive right now? So we can start communicating. I see him washing his feet. She just sees his feet. She's ignoring. She's ignoring? She's watching him right now. Mm -hmm. She needs to listen. Okay. Well, I repeat, in another Kuwaiti Tree training session that she had with another practitioner, she could not connect to Akis. Why was that? Because this is only done with you and her. This cannot be done with anyone else. So it had been blocked? Yes. Okay, I understand. But she did connect with a woman when she did that session. Can you please explain what happened? Yes. There was a woman that was being beaten. As some of it already has been erased within her. Is it important to know about that woman or not? In regard to Akis? No, it was more of a disturbance to not allow to take the mind away from that. Well, it was then. placed there so that it could put her in a different existence of not being in that time as she felt she was, but it was a distraction that we placed there. I understand and I would like you to disconnect from that memory <clears throat> and I would like you now to completely connect with that kiss and make yourself um, visible so he can notice that we are here. She sees him. Mm -hmm. Is he recognizing us right now, or do we need any more? He hears. Mm -hmm. Well then, we are saying hello to him again. He smiles. Very good. Ask him how he is, how he is today. He's good. She only sees him as this time where she saw him before. Is he remembering us? Yes. Very good. Ask him please if it's okay to have a few questions answered. Yes, but he's hesitant. Is there a reason to it? There are others walking by. Mm -hmm. Then please go into time and space when he is ready and available to talk without any disturbance, please. He's walking down the steps. He just hit his head on some stone above him. It's too low. And he's going to the place that he normally goes to. And there's... There's the cat. 
There's a cat? Yeah. Are you recognizing that cat? Uh-huh. How and who is this cat? Um, it's the, um, it's the cat. It's the, the cat. The cat. From the garden? Yeah. Okay, very wonderful. It's so big. It's really pretty. There's like, like jewels on it or something like. It's, it walks so gracefully. I mean, you couldn't even have something like this here. Beautiful. So Aki and this cat are somehow together? They belong to each other? Mm, I think so. I think it's his... He sees it as almost... Um, like, I, I feel like he... I don't want to say worships him, but it's more like... It's... Maybe they talk into intuitive. I don't know. It's mm -hmm. really weird. Very close. Well, can you please ask him if he's not ready to have communication with us? He already hears us. Okay. So. He's laughing. At me. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I would like <laughs> him to ask you. Well, ask him, please. Hmm. Who he is and what is his purpose in his time. Well, he is what you would call a psychic, and now this time, but um, and more of kind of like a master prophet, but in a way that he has to be very distinct about it. Uh, so he, what he does is he brings certain people to him to teach like prophecies or something and he's very very careful on who he does this with as he could be crucified I understand so what is the importance that we connected with him well I think that it was already in, it was already, it was there already from what he says. It just was there. And that he's going to teach us and tell us things. And we are to teach him here what's going on on planet Earth. Um, it's like we are going back and forth in time in the future, I guess you would say. Okay, so I have a question for him in regard to the planet mm -hmm. or to what they call Earth. What is his perception or his idea of the place that we call Earth? How does it look like? Well, he doesn't... It, he's asking, what do you mean? Like... Mm -hmm. Well, if he would be able to give an explanation to somebody, to the place that humans and him are living on, how would that place look like? Is it like a ball? Is it flat? Is it empty? Is there anything, any idea of what they call the planet or Earth? Well... He says it's what he sees in the sky. It's... It's not... I have to... I don't think he understands me. That's okay. That's okay. We can come back for that to a later time. I mean, I could... I could draw it. Do not influence him right now. Okay. Just disconnect from the question. Ask him, what would be the benefit to have communication with him between the two of us and him? Mm -hmm. To help him understand things so that it will give more information uh, to the people that he teaches as well. 
as he only knows so much. But this teaching will go forward to the ones that will come to planet Earth as well. So it is almost like a chain of reaction. So it already existed pretty much. It's already existing, so that is the reason why he's psychic. So if you get information from us, from the so-called future, from his point of view, wouldn't that be affecting the timelines and the happenings on Earth? Possibly. And that's why you have to be extremely careful when you have these abilities because of the influence on the outside. So it is in, of all goods, good. However, you have to be careful who you speak and talk with. Just like if myself now were to go to a psychic or a reader, it, you have to be extremely careful of the information that comes through. And only certain ones can know this as they have had something within them happen to their body. So it changes the outcome of things. So to go back to that question, if any information that we would relate to him, is there information that would make sense or has an importance for him to know so he can change or affect things in a beneficial and positive way? What kind of information would that be? To give to him? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, there's only certain information and that is why they, they are ones that are chosen. Because the one that relays information as far as her knows what to give him and what not to give him. Okay. So it would be okay for a later time to come back and start communicating? about certain topics? Yes, but she needs to be, when this is, in the process, extremely centered. No outside influence in any way. It's dangerous at times. We understand. Do you have a message for us, Akius, for me and Heidi? He says he's extremely happy that this is, he's, he's crying. This is what he's been waiting for. And only when you both are ready, he says, it can't be just one. So, as information will not be distributed in the way it should be. But he feels that this is going to be incredibly important for where he is now in that time and where you both are now. I understand. With that in mind, as he has some insights and psychic abilities, mm -hmm. why have we been chosen to connect with him in that way? He didn't choose it. It's already existed. Okay. Well, then I have a question for him now regarding the whole. Does he have a message for the human community in our time and space, what we call 2019? 
<laughs> so it's even hard to it's hard to even conceive the meaning of that. But that there are things that are there now that have been more open now where we're at, it seems like, but it's so hard because the thinking is so different. So when the information is relayed, it it's easier for me to understand, but I don't know how to talk with him. Okay. It's, I, I don't, this is where it becomes a little difficult for me because he's not understanding some of the things I'm telling him. So I have to, I have to understand his language. Um, and I don't know if that's going to be more symbols of maybe, maybe that's why it came up of me drawing a picture or something. I don't know. Okay. Well, then I go back to the question and to rephrase the question. Uh -huh. Does he has a message for a human community in our time and space, 2019, in regard to what he knows that we should maybe taken care of, because he's experiencing it in his time? Well, there's many things, as he points right now. He is outside of the what's that thing called where he's at. But he's outside pointing up into the stars. So there's things up there, not just stars. What I think he's trying to say is that creation, maybe. Uh, I just see other things moving in the sky that I haven't seen here on Earth. So is he aware of things in the sky that are not belonging to Earth? Mm -hmm. How would he describe that? I can see it. I, I can't. He can't. It's. I can't understand him very well. But I. He's showing me. Like I, I see a picture. Uh, and there's like three, no, maybe five, and they're like aligned in a certain way, um, and a light goes down into, um, I don't know what that is, but it goes down there. Um, down to the ground, mm -hmm. to a structure or to earth. A structure. Mm -hmm. Is there any meaning to it? Yeah. It's like the the um, there's it's like a center point maybe, but it's not just there. And I I feel like it's if I were to see. This is in other parts of the earth, but he doesn't, he, it's hard to, he doesn't understand what earth looks like. So I think he feels like it goes on to existence, like it keeps on going and going and going. I don't think he realizes what we would say is round. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a certain reason to that we are not going deeper into him influencing this idea what we have as we're not even sure if it's right to um well that's what I'm, i i that's why i don't i think that's when the information like i just said earlier where i was maybe i was almost stopped from the round like seeing earth we see earth as round but it's almost like he couldn't understand it or that information should not be told to him mm -hmm. well then that's what we do disconnect from that idea of round with him but ask him you want to talk about it yeah
this whole thing right now. Okay. Everything. It just seems like I've done this before. Or it's like I have this image of doing this already. Hmm. Okay, I want you to reconnect with him, his mind, mm -hmm. for his our last question. If he would be agreeing to have answers to questions that our audience would have. So if you would collect some questions for him being answered by him, is that something he would like to do or not? Yes, he would, but there are certain things that he has to be careful with, just like I do as far as information flow, mm -hmm. um, as it can be dangerous. I understand. But basically, it will be possible that people that are interested in him and his time, that there could be some questions answered, but of course with limits. Yes. Wonderful. Before we part today, is there anything for us to know? Mm. I just feel that um, there's what I see here of where he's at. It's not in what you would see in books or it's somewhat, but it's kind of like it's kind of like you put a dinosaur together, but that's really not what the dinosaur looks like because that's only how we created it. So that's where he's from. If I could explain that. It's how we see it, but yet it's not exactly how we see it in a book. Okay, well then go up into the air to a certain vantage point. Look around and tell us what you see. Mm -hmm. Start with the perception of temperature. Uh, where he's at? Mm -hmm. Extremely hot. Is it dry or humid? Actually, it's both. And I don't know why that would be. Don't analyze, please. What are the colors you see, basically, underneath you when you have this vantage point? I see there is, there is, it's more red and browns, uh, but I'm also seeing, I don't understand why I would see this. Just say what you see. Well, almost like um, some type of crystals maybe so it it's really hard to understand because it's not how we would see that that's okay do not analyze it just have to report can you see any plants there are some around um the it looks like it's a um maybe a river mm -hmm. um there's some plants there and there's actually some some weird things maybe swimming in it okay uh, like animals or what yeah mm -hmm. uh -huh, but that's not what you would see here now do you see any transportation um, there's some there yeah but it's I don't think we would under mm, some people would understand it, but um, so please explain what you can perceive. Do they have transportation on land or and on water? Well, yeah, they, it's it's through an influence. Um, it's like what we would we would call here. Um, 
an extraterrestrial type of being maybe but they're not fearful of that uh, if that were to if we were to see that here now I think people would probably go crazy so what you just tried to explain how is that related to my question of transportation well they have transportation too but it's more of like animals and feet however they have influence as well so it's but they can't that the 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 transportation can only stay within that that it's not allowed to go anywhere else do you understand what i'm saying no what is not allowed to go anywhere they else? cannot take them anywhere else but their community but they help with building things um, you mean these other beings are helping building things? Yes, but mm -hmm. it is uncalled for or against to take the people out of their community. It okay. would be what we would call a crime. I don't we will be performing a session where we will ask questions that you have for Akis. So write us in the comment section below your questions. We want you to be a part in our next session. Now as you're awake, uh, is there anything you want to add um, to the experience that we reconnected to Akis? Anything you want to hmm. talk about or tell our audience? Yeah, actually, um, this man of who he is, is basically what you would probably call um, a teacher of well knowledge so um, which has probably he's taught many people at his time to pass down generation wise um, but he picks the people very it's almost like they're chosen somehow um, and extremely intelligent for his kind at, the t at that time. However, it was very hard to communicate with him because he's not understanding some of the things as I perceive. For me, it's easier for me to see back then um, as for him to not see certain things here. So that's when it, it becomes almost okay whether this information should be told to him or not because I don't want to change the outcome in any way of what the future would be. Uh, and I think he's very careful with that as well. I feel like something is talking through him as well uh, or something that we would call here as another part of ourselves, whether it's a higher consciousness or whatever, but he has a, um, a lot of knowledge of his time of things that we would not comprehend right now or see it in a different way. So that's what I see or feel in the, these images that come through and what I feel around him. We hope you enjoyed this video, so subscribe and like. This is your support for our work. Thank you and see you soon.